Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for January 15, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thought for the day. Fear. The achievement of freedom from fear is a lifetime undertaken, one that can never be wholly completed. When under heavy attack, acute illness, or in other conditions of serious insecurity, we shall all react to this emotion, well or badly as the case may be. Only the self-deceived will claim perfect freedom from fear. From Bill W. Grapevine, January 1962, as Bill sees it, page 263. Thought to consider. Courage is a willingness to accept fear and act anyway. Acronyms. Fear. Face everything and recover. Just for today. Paradox. Step 1. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. We had approached AA expecting to be taught self-confidence. Then we had to be told that so far as alcohol is concerned, self-confidence was no good whatsoever. In fact, it was a total liability. Our sponsors declared that we were victims of a mental obsession so subtly powerful that no amount of human willpower could break it. There was, they said, no such thing as the personal conquest of this compulsion by the unaided will. The tyrant alcohol wielded a double-edged sword over us. First we were smitten by an insane urge that condemned us to go on drinking, and then by an allergy of the body that ensured we would ultimately destroy ourselves in the process. Few indeed were those who, so assailed, had ever won through in single-handed combat. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 22. Daily Reflections An unsuspected inner resource. With few exceptions, our members find that they have tapped an unsuspected inner resource, which they presently identify with their own conception of a power greater than themselves. It's Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 569 to 570. From my first days in AA, as I struggled for sobriety, I found hope in these words from our founders. I often pondered the phrase, they have tapped an unsuspected inner resource. How, I asked myself, can I find the power within myself since I am so powerless? In time, as the founders promised, it came to me. I have always had the choice between goodness and evil, between unselfishness and selfishness, between serenity and fear. That power greater than myself is an original gift that I did not recognise until I achieved daily sobriety through AA's 12 steps. As Bill sees it, external values. Many people will have no truck at all with absolute spiritual values. Yet I think we should not hold this view. Perfectionists, they say, are either full of conceit because they fancy they have reached some impossible goal or else they are swamped in self-condemnation because they have not done so. Yet I think we should not hold this view. It is not the fault of great ideals that they are sometimes misused and so become shallow excuses for guilt, rebellion and pride. On the contrary, we cannot grow very much unless we constantly try to envision what the eternal spiritual values are. Day by day we try to move a little towards God's perfection. So we need not be consumed by maudlin guilt for failure to achieve his likeness and image by Thursday next. Progress is our aim, and his perfection is the beacon, light years away, that draws us on. It's from Grapevine, June 1961, and a letter, 1966. Big Book Quote Someday we hope that Alcoholics Anonymous will help the public to a better realisation of the gravity of the alcoholic problem, but we shall be of little use if our attitude is one of bitterness or hostility. Drinkers will not stand for it. After all, our problems were of our own making. Bottles were only a symbol. Besides, we have stopped fighting anybody or anything. We have to. It's Alcoholics Anonymous, Working With Others, page 103. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. The AA programme is a way of life. It is a way of living, and we have to learn to live the programme if we're going to stay sober. The 12 steps in the book are like guideposts. They point the direction in which we have to go. But all members of the group have to find their own best way to live the programme. We don't all do it exactly alike. Whether by quiet times in the morning, meetings, working with others or spreading the word, 
we have to learn to live the programme. Has the AA way become my regular, natural way of living? Meditation for the day. I will relax and not get tense. I will have no fear because everything will work out in the end. I will learn soul balance and poise in a facilitating, changing world. I will claim God's power and use it because if I do not use it, it will be withdrawn. As long as I get back to God and replenish my strength after each task, no work can be too much. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may relax and that God's strength will be given to me. I pray that I may subject my will to God's will and be free from all tenseness. It's Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.